Welcome back everyone. I am so excited today because we are doing one of my signature dish, which is the French toast. French toast, you've heard that one before. I'm French, so I must know about it. Actually I do. French toast comes from the French lost bread, pain perdu. So basically back in the days, they would have bread left over, rock hard, don't know what to do with it, don't want to throw it away. How can we repurpose it? So they would make that mixture of egg, sugar, and milk, dip the bread in it, and then cook it. And it will create a beautiful dessert and avoid wastage. So that's what we're doing today. But instead of all bread, we're using challah. So it's gonna be like beautiful and moist. We're gonna add some crunch to it, and we're gonna add coconut and a delicious caramelized banana. I am so excited, I can't wait. So let's do it. All right, first step, we're gonna take a challah. You could use white bread, you could use baguette, you could use an actual brioche, but we're gonna use challah. Uh, why? It's because the challah versus brioche doesn't have any butter, so it actually will stay a little bit better when we cook it. So that's what we're using today. So I'm just gonna take the crust off, and we're gonna dice two beautiful slices, just like so. Then we're gonna take our hazelnut paste and we're going to just smear it on it just like that we want to be generous obviously we love our chocolate and hazelnut and we're going to sandwich it just like so so far you follow me really easy and i'm just going to cut that in half i'm going to put it to the side and now we're gonna work on our egg mix. All right, now that we have our sandwich ready, we're gonna work on the egg mix. So we're gonna take a bowl, we're gonna grab our eggs. I'm gonna do three of them. Here we go, we're gonna add a bit of sugar. I'm gonna whisk that in. And I'm gonna add some milk. And to that, I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla. So I'm using extract, but you could use a vanilla pod if you have, or any type of vanilla. So I'm gonna do with about half a tablespoon. So there's what we call a royale. So every time you mix eggs, so you could do it for, it's like an omelet pretty much. So that's called a royale. It's what we're gonna use if we're to bread something, or in this case, it's gonna be the French toast mix. So this is it. So make sure you have a nice whisk. And we're gonna put our sandwiches right in the milk. While this is soaking up, we're gonna put the pan on. And we're gonna add a bit of butter to it. Good nub in there. And then we're gonna take our sandwich, and make sure it's flipped so it's nice and soaking the mix up on each side. So tasty. I'm gonna let that soak up for a bit and we're gonna let our butter melt. Our brioche is nice and moist. It sucked up all the royale. So we're gonna just try to remove the exit egg, put it into the pan. Just like so. And now we're gonna let it cook and caramelize. You could take the crust off, um, it's optional. I left it on right now. If you had like a harder bread, you could absolutely take it off. So while this is cooking, we're gonna work on a caramelized banana. So I'm gonna grab a banana. I'm just gonna cut it in half. 
and then half again. And now take it out of the skin. I'm gonna take some sugar, place it on a banana, gently. And now we're gonna take a blowtorch. And we're gonna caramelize the banana. Just like a creme brulee. Okay, so the banana are caramelized, so we're gonna set them aside and we're gonna flip our French toast. Oh, mama. Look at this. So beautiful. So we're gonna let it cook on the other side for another two to three minutes. All right, our French toast are cooked. It smells so good in here. Oh, I wish you were with me, but it's okay because you can make the recipe at home. All right, let's get on with the plating. So right here, I've got some coconut fat. So how did I do that? Basically, I took a can of coconut milk. I left it in the fridge for about 24 hours. You could do it in your freezer for about two hours. It's a little more difficult. And basically it's gonna separate. So the milk will be in the bottom and the coconut on top. And I just scooped that fat out. So I'm gonna take some of that beautiful coconut fat and I'm gonna place it in the bottom of my plate, just like so. Then I'm gonna take my French toast right out of the pan. Look at that, that is just so good. I'm gonna put it to the side. And this is where the epic part is happening. You think it's done, but it's not. I'm gonna take hazelnut paste. And I'm gonna add more on the side, just like so. And I put it right onto my feuilletine. So feuilletine is a dehydrated crepes, but you could use any type of cereal. Really what we're looking for right now is just a crunch. Just like that. Then I'm gonna make sure it's nice and coated. Oh, wow. I'm gonna place it onto the plate. I'm gonna take my other portion. Make sure it's nicely coated. I'm gonna put it like that. Then from here, we're gonna grab our banana. So it's still, you have some texture from the banana, but the top is gonna be caramelized and like semi-cooked. I'm gonna place each half like so. And from here, all we gotta do is add the maple syrup. I cannot wait to dig in. The perfect recipe to serve at brunch for your significant other or your family. Trust me on this one, you're gonna have a lot of fan. If you like this episode, please comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one, but please allow me. Mm. Crunchy, sweet, decadent. That is best French toast you'll ever have. Trust me.